And uh, a lot happening in the world of sports. Can't wait to get to Father Matt Frisbee with the Sports Roundup. Morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Dave and Ron. How are you? Doing great. How are you? Uh, doing very well. Doing very well. Especially as a fan of the Cleveland Indians, Cleveland mm-hmm. Guardians. Best record in the AL Central. Uh, the yeah, we have, we have to call them. We have to call them the Windians. That's right, the Windians. That's right, because right now they are atop the AL and uh, pretty close to best record in baseball. And you think about the Dodgers, who spent the Lord only knows how much money, and they have a better record than the Dodgers. So it's early in the season, but you know, you think about uh, really two things. The first the first year manager Stephen Vogt uh, leading them right now, and uh, after that great tenure of the of the great Terry Francona to step in and do this to begin the year is really something, but also to do this without their ace pitcher Shane Bieber, also pretty impressive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then and then the Cleveland Cavs said, "Hold my beer," and and they went out. They got two. They're two and zero right now, and they and their first uh, series for the NBA playoffs. That's right, NBA playoffs. I'm sure you are just chomping at the bit to talk about this day. <laughs> you know uh, what, Father? I have to confess, I've been watching because the game has returned with some of the teams uh, playing game, playing team basketball, setting picks, blocking out. Running offense, uh, running offensive schemes, less ISO. I'm actually enjoying a couple of the uh, a couple of the teams. Are the Cavs one of those teams? I uh, know I've not yet watched the Cavs, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got busted on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Cavs are up two to nothing. Uh, Dave, I'm sure you're crying about this one. In the West, the LA Lakers are down. Oh, to two. Yeah, yeah, and oh. I, I will celebrate if they get swept. If they even won one, if they win one, I'll be disappointed. So, <laughs> yep. So that's coming on. You know, I saw this last night. And I, I tells you how much I pay attention to the NBA. That Oklahoma City is the one seed in the West. Mm. I didn't know that. I didn't even know they were any good. Yeah, you, look, the West is looking good. There, there, are, there are some good teams out there, and again, they're playing some good basketball. It's fun, but the lead-in act was a lot of fun, and we didn't get to talk a lot about uh, Caitlin Clark with you, Father. I, big Nike deal, went number one in the WNBA. Do you think that there's any carryover from the excitement of women's college basketball this past year to the WNBA next year? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh I don't know, possibly. I mean, if, I guess if someone's going to do it, maybe it's Caitlin Clark, although there have been some other great college stars in the past uh, who haven't really brought over the WNBA. Uh, I think a couple things with the WNBA. Firstly, when is their season? Okay. Secondly, do people even know who these teams are in the NBA? At least college basketball, you know, like Ohio State, Iowa, um, you know, Tennessee, UConn, you can name these teams in part because they're colleges, universities. People can associate with them. These other teams, you know, NBA, you just you don't even know they have a team or something like that. So I think that's something that really goes against the WNBA. Uh, and also, when is their season? I couldn't tell you. And yeah. uh, how well are their games? Uh, yeah, I'm with you. The correct answer is no, it doesn't. And Caitlin Clark should go on, take the money, and run. Hey, pull that down. We're, we've got some time left here. That's we're, a great point. Yeah, though. we're going to continue on here. We want to get your thoughts on. Turn that music yeah, off. Yeah, turn that music <laughs> off. We're not ready yet. I want to. I want to talk draft, Father. What are you thinking on the NFL draft? Oh, oh, oh. yeah. Well, you know, it's a good thing it is coming up. As a Browns fan, of course, we're not even thinking about it because yet again, for another year. Browns do not have a first-round pick. That was part of their trade for Deshaun Watson last year where they don't have a pick. But I think what we'll see first, I mean, it's almost a foregone conclusion. Number one overall pick will be Caleb Williams, quarterback out of USC to the Bears. And then from there, who knows? We may have teams drafting up. Maybe they want to get one of these quarterbacks. Maybe they want to get uh, Drake May. A lot of rumblings about J.J. McCarthy out of Michigan going uh, in the top five. Now, I'm not an expert on this, but frankly, I don't see it. Uh, but who knows? 
Marvin Harrison Jr. seems to be a top five lock uh, for a pick. A lot of people kind of project him to go the Cardinals. So uh, we'll see. Um, and but yeah, you know the JJ McCarthy thing. I guess we'll we'll get into this. We'll maybe you know pick up some controversial uh, listeners here or something like that. I just don't get it. He's not a top five pick. Yeah, I know, agree. I think people are <laughs> reaching at this point. I, I don't understand. Well, you see that all the time. Everyone knows you got to have a quarterback. So people are trying to find a quarterback in the first round uh, because that's where the talent is, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But like last year, I'll just say this. I thought very clearly C.J. Stroud was the better pick over Bryce Young. And uh, and all of the, all the national pundits, their total – historical revisionist uh, who last year they were all about Bryce Young. Oh, this guy's clearly the best. And now they all kind of go back like, oh yeah, we knew CJ Stroud was going to be good. No, no. no. <laughs> so, um, so we'll see. We'll see. But that, that'll be the draft. The Browns fans will have to wait till round two and three. Some good assessments there. I love that. <laughs> and off the sports thing real quick, what do you think of uh, Taylor Swift's new hit? Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> that Thank is the you, title Father of it. Matt. That's very, very well done. Thanks, Father. God bless. <laughs> Thank you, Father. And me.